High school student Wataka Goju spends his day perfecting the art of making hina dolls, hoping to eventually reach his grandfather's level of ex expertise. While his fellow teenagers busy themselves with pop culture, Goju finds bliss in sewing clothes for his dolls. Nonetheless, his goes to great lengths to keep his unique hobby a secret, as he believed that he would be ridiculed if they were revealed. Enters Maria Kawa, an extraordinary pretty girl whose confidence and poise are in stark contrast to Gojo's meekness. It would defy common sense for the friendless Gojo to mix with the likes of Kiwaga, who is always surrounded by her peers. However, the unimaginable happens when Kagawa discovers Gojo's proudness with sewing machine and brightly confesses to him about her own hobby, cosplay. Because her sewing skills are pitiful, she decides to enlist his help. As Goju and Mirin work together on one cosplay outfit after another, they can help but go close, even though their lives are, are worlds apart. This anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered January 9th, 2022 to March 27, 2022, based on a manga. It is romance, slice of life, theme is otaku culture, and school. And the demographic is sent. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode and at PG-13. Let's get started into the review. What I like about this anime is that, yes, is it about cosplay? And I love it because, you know, who doesn't want to see how a guy who makes and creates Hina dolls gets straight and thrown into the world of cosplay, especially when the main protagonist girl does not, cannot sew to save her life, which I'm not faulting her for that. She tried, she tried her best, especially in the first episode. She really tried her best to show her cosplay off again. Hey, sewing skills are not for everybody. Now, you know, cosplay is for everybody, no matter your race, size, creed, whatever. It's for everybody. And I think it's very interesting that these two partnerships work so well because he sews clothes very well because he has he's in the henna doll business and so he's used to showing clothes for the dolls or makeup or accessories whatever it doesn't seem strange to him but for him to not share his hobbies with his friends like especially with his friends in his school i would say he might feel isolated but when these two met it was a perfect partnership made in heaven because you know she can't sell he can't he can help her make the cosplays while she gives him the idea and he does basically the research and the construction and makes outfits for her now it would have been nice to see like she does provide money for him to buy the materials and stuff and that's it's very nice but I think you know I would have liked to see if him didn't feel so ashamed to share his what he does for a living to his friend because I don't think he, they would have cast him out if he just told everyone but I think that, that, that awkwardness of that he is is how it helps better his character and with the extroversiveness of Mary right here helps bring outside the never known this before especially when he does enter the world of cosplay and help her with all these cosplays that one after another and like she he teaches her about the different type of materials what works better what doesn't what the wigs colors are different how the fabric will feel for certain characters the eye shape the makeup like he knows it all like he does his research very well and very thoroughly and it shows very well his exceptional a point an eye of detail and it comes through when he's helping her create the cosplay that she wants now any cosplayer would love that like any skill but versus what is making like a closet anime but very professional even if you buy it cosplay is cosplay and it doesn't matter how you make your cosplay as long as you're having fun with it all that matters and then that's what's really important because you see her very dedicated to her cosplay and him as well trying to help her while you know, I guess her agreeing to keep his Hina dolls um, hobby or job a secret, but I don't think you really should. Don't be afraid of what you love. So what if he would not accept you? You can't change people of the narrative of you. You can only learn to accept and love yourself as she has. So basically, this partnership really works. But also, the dynamic when he's like, it's very uncomfortable in certain situations. He's like, I don't know about this. Like, he's misunderstanding a lot of stuff that he sh that she shows him. I think it's very cute. And then also for her herself, like, she's reading, like, you know, as they grow closer, she's developing maybe some romantic feelings for him. But I won't tell y'all because you have to find out for yourself. But definitely check out My Dress Up Darling because it does show how many cosplays he does make for her and the great identity detail that he puts into her cosplays and that he's willing to help her with while she still keeps his secret of him adult. And I think he shouldn't because if he's, if he's appreciative of his grandma, of his grandfather teaching him the makings of him adult, which is a very important part of Japanese culture, I think he should tell people that. I think he wouldn't make himself be isolation from his peers and wouldn't seem so meek and shy uh along with the rest of his peers at his school but it's definitely up to his choice but overall they do have fun making with cosplay they do interact with other people in the cosplay community but definitely check this anime out and let me know what you think but until then see you soon bye